Hey friends, so we reached 3,000 subscribers, so I am releasing this video today to say thank you to all of you. So I really appreciate your support because this channel wouldn't be here without you guys. So it's nice to see this lovely community grow, to, to reach more people, you know, to relax, learn, heal, and grow. So like every like, comment, and view, helps my videos expand out further to reach out to more people so I really appreciate you guys very much for that because the best part about this like is like reading your comments and making new friends it's really awesome to meet new people from all around the world there's some people from India UK Germany so it's really fun to engage in that and it's Awesome to see you guys wanting to learn new things, get engaged in learning, and here to relax. So in this session, I'll be doing a full body Reiki POV. So this will be from head to toe. So I'll be doing it like as if you were lying here on the bed with me. And I'll try my best to explain each step of the way. And, and like Reiki is like very easy to learn. Like even a child can do it. So I highly recommend experiencing an in-person Reiki session to get the feel of how it is like being received on you. And like, trust me, it's amazing. You, you will want to keep doing it. So like when someone becomes attuned to Reiki, they are able to channel the life force energy or called Chi. So it flows through them as like a channeler, so it flows to their body and be able to send it out through their hands. You can do it on places, people, animals, uh, crystals, jewelry, etc. So it's not the person healing another person, it is the energy channeled through them uh, from the Christ consciousness, so it's flowing down and sending out to that person. You're just like a conduit basically. So all you have to do so all I have to do is like trust my intuition and be able to pinpoint where to send it. And all you have to do is, is invite the energy in and allow it to do its thing. So for best results, stay hydrated as water is, is energy. It increases the flow of energy. So like even in person or distant Reiki sessions, there will be like handouts and discussions on prepping for the Reiki session. Basically, like no drinking alcohol for 24 hours before the session because that lowers your vibration and will be high as possible. Hydrate, meditate, and practice Reiki. Like, so I did, I practiced it on myself earlier before starting this video so I can keep my chakras open, aligned. Because it's like true what they say, like, you have to heal yourself before you can heal others. So if one of my chakras were off, then the, the Reiki channeling through me will heal, let's say, the heart first before it can send out to you basically like leftovers. So there's a lot of prep work involved. So there's like a lot of behind the scenes before filming this. So now let's begin. Okay. So first up, I'm going to be doing like basically three swipes like down like this from like it to do but more slowly so you can help um, clear out like any like you know like stuck energy like blockages so when we're pushing it down so it can help receive the Reiki a little bit better and then identify basically it's called like a body scan trying to pinpoint which areas let's say maybe need more in the heart and maybe some the ankles and basically identify any part of the body where it needs healing attention. And there's like great tools. You can use a pendulum to help, like you can put it over like a chakra and like you can ask it like, does the heart chakra need uh, healing attention? And then it'll say yes or no. So right now it's saying no. So I'll be doing this to begin, help start the Reiki.
so I am starting at the crown, just feeling. So I picked up maybe the throat, like the neck. You might have a neck injury, or maybe just kind of like, you know, like stiff, you know. Shoulders, tense. Next up, I'll do sunlight sweep, but mostly during like a actual Reiki session. I won't be using this so much. You can, it doesn't hurt, but I'll be more focused on actual like the Reiki. So this will be just because you guys like enjoy it. It kind of helps clear out the space too. That's why like during like before and after each session we would do like a saging. Mostly after which I'll do at the end so that way it clears all the basically negative energy that came out of you. So we'll want to clear that all the way. Next up, I have a group of crystals. So I have flower agate. So I'll be placing this one on the crown chakra because this one is associated with root, heart, and crown. But I'll be putting it on the crown. It pushes the user onto the right path, realigns, balances, and centers energies in the body, removes stagnation and procrastination into action. Excellent to use when manifesting one's desires and great for uterine issues. So I'll be placing this right here on your crown, basically at the top of your head right here. Then I'll be using the purple opal for the third eye. It's for the higher chakras, the third eye and crown. So this one's opens up, one up to higher dimensional energies. Excellent when wanting to communicate with spirit, guides, and angels. Helps to strengthen the mind, body, and soul connection. And aids those with brain injury or disorders. Perfect. So I'll be placing this about right here. Perfect. And then Blue ice for the throat, uh, right here. So this will help reveal one's psychic intuitive abilities that may have been blocked and beneficial for open and honest communication, speaking from the mind and heart, easily brings solutions to bad habits and problems, eases anxiety and stress, Helps one to earn respect, 
and assists with addiction issues, especially with food. And now, rose quartz. So we'll place this on the heart. So this is for solar plexus and heart. Inspires unconditional love of self and for others. Stimulates compassion and emotional healing. Effective in, a, in attracting new love, romance, and intimacy. Helps to clear anger, jealousy, and resentment. Great for those scared of the dark or nighttime. Stimulates proper heart and circuit, circulatory function. And next... Yellow Adventuring, great little guy. Put that in the solar plexus. It's also for heart. So let's do about right here. So a powerful healing stone for grief and loneliness. Helps to make quick, fast decisions. Increases self-esteem and self-confidence. And easily protects from EMF and 5G energy waves. Perfect. Heals one with digestive and solar stomach issues. So that would be for your, so stomach issues would be solar plexus. And Picasso Jasper. Perfect, so I'll be putting that on the sacral uh, right here. So it's for root, sacral, and solar plexus. Stimulates chakras to bring creativity, clarity, and insight. This stone reminds you to enjoy life every day. Helps to quiet the mind during meditation. Encourages true, honest relationships. Promotes weight loss in the body. And now, for the root, Super 7. So it's also for... <clears throat> third eye and crown also known as the melody stone or sacred stone compromised of seven minerals amethyst clear quartz smoky quartz rutile geophyte cacoxenzite and lipidochlorite <laughs> more big words Raises vibration and, and accelerates spiritual development quickly. Raises the collective consciousness. And aligns and balances all chakras easily. Perfect. <laughs> so basically, if this was like an actual like Reiki session, I would ask if you were comfortable in placing uh, crystals or stones on top of your body. If, if somebody is not, then... I would place them under the Reiki table. So like if, let's say, if I noticed your heart needed a lot of work, I would place, I would, you can use this or better yet, a pyramid and place it right underneath, directly in line. And then I could focus on other areas while that crystal is helping that sh chakra. So, so I have each one here. So now we will start with the Reiki session. So just be open and inviting these energies and just relax, close your eyes if you want to. You can leave them open um, better if you're laying down, but you can like sit comfortably and imagine if I'm on the chakra, you can feel on. Focusing on 
the crown chakra where the crystal's at. We're just sending Reiki to it. And during this time, I can just think about anything, basically. I'm just letting the energy do the job. I can just sing a song in my head if I wanted to. to I could use a uh, shulker ray on it and that helps like to direct the energy at that spot but it's not really necessary it's kind of basically by person by person if they choose to those symbols are mostly for like attunements they're great for that and also for like sealing up energies I, I love using that for that somebody has any like tension in the neck, you feel stiff, and I'll help uh, send it Reiki and you're loosened up. And of course sessions can be uh, hands-on like so if somebody doesn't want to be touched that's okay. There's certain states that don't allow touching except for like course like um, like medical and massage uh, Reiki I think it was Nebraska they can't do hands-on unless you fill out like a disclaimer file but I'm pretty sure Washington you can so most of the time it would be a no touching session but hands-on it kind of helps smooth energy a little bit better but it still works the same Basically what I'm doing now is like pulling the energy, just moving it down below your feet and exit. Now the heart. So basically with all these crystals here, all of your chakras are having energy healing all at the same time. I'm just giving it a little boost with Reiki.
Now I'm just imagining. So you have 12 chakras, seven in your body, and there is one earth star below your feet and more above your head, more. So it's 12 total. So at the very top, I think it's galactic or something. I, f I forget, but I have a guide. If you want to learn more about that, I can share with you guys. But So imagine that one is beaming up basically beautiful white light and just beaming down all the way through each of your chakra down to the earth star chakra. Beam. And I'll be laying my hands like right here to help if you have any like respiratory issues that's related with the heart. Give you some comfort. Help you breathe. Remember there are like you can use if you learned Reiki 1 and 2 you can do self healing on yourself. There are, um, like, so, like, in the class booklet, we have, like, examples of positions on how to do Reiki on yourself. But of course, you can look this online and, and it'll help you a lot too. So, it's very highly recommend to at least learn, like, Reiki 1 and 2. You can't get paid for doing, like, practice. Unless until you become a master, then you can. And then you can teach others. And let's do the head again for head cold. Head cold. And the sinuses will help relieve it. Can you see my hand? I'm just imagining pushing here, just cleaning it out. Nasal passageways, breathe, nostrils relax, open up. to the solar plexus.
right now, I'm just imagining the chakra, let's say like the throat, it's opening the front and the back. So just imagine like a bright light. And next in and out on the sides. So open front, back, right side, left side. Just beam it out and beam straight down. Now at your hips, if you have like any hip pain, or lower back, Now I'll put my hands beneath your feet. I'll give you a little, kind of like recharge, but basically like a jump start energy. And then pull out. So we're doing this, the pull out, basically jump. And if you have like any holds on your aura, you can do like this and like it's so over the head, front, back, and side. That's perfect for it. So I'll do that for you. Basically, just going over each chakra one more time. Okay. 
Okay, so next up, we're gonna be doing aura fluffing. So basically, I'm just gonna be pulling your aura, like energy from up and over your body. So do that several times and then go like that. Next up, I'll be putting like, you basically like in a golden like bubble. So we create like a golden like shield around you to help keep you like protected from outside like negative energies trying to penetrate you. Um, so I'll be doing that. You can do this anytime you like, especially like going out in public, the grocery stores especially. So it's basically just imagine yourself like being in a golden bubble and just surrounding you. Now we're gonna seal up all these energies with Shokure. 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 Now we'll do uh, some sage spray, but I won't be, so like in a real session, I wouldn't be like spraying you basically. Uh, so like in this video, um, I'll show you guys how I would do it. So after the person leaves, I'll go around and sage this space basically. So like if you're at somebody's house, uh, you have to be careful with using like essential oils or actual like uh, burning sage. It might like it might be allergic or have some kind of reaction, so you want to do that. So you just want to use a sage spray. It's always good to ask them first. And I'll be using my seven. And there we go. Well, thank you guys.
for joining me on this special session uh, for reaching 3k and again thank you guys so much i really appreciate all you guys i hope you guys enjoyed uh, the walkthrough and all the energies and all the crystals okay here so basically this was basically on how i would actually do a kind of in-person reiki session a distance reiki will be a little bit different so distance reiki you would imagine the reiki going through the crown chakra and just filling up your body reaching every organ to the hits the bottom of your feet and you would do that for a little while and then you would go out to kind of the aura part so there's different layers of your energy field so one will be the physical for the mind so you want to like have to set the intention of like kind of like positive affirmations like for like the me mental mind so you would focus on that energy filling that up and then emotional for like let's say like love happiness like positive vibes into that part of the aura so distance reiki will be a little bit different versus in person doing the reiki session and like the reiki session like in person or distance will be quiet i wouldn't be talking through it but you can request like a walkthrough like okay what's going on what are you doing you know that's always so like the day before like we'll have like a talk about like if you have any any request because most likely i wouldn't be use crystals unless you request it i would just be doing reiki but you can always request it like say you want in like abundance and also okay so i'll bring citrine and other great crystals for the solar plexus so you can request and have accommodations so like we'll work that out and, I'll, and that would help me plan out the session entirely so so you know because we want to discuss it before so then and especially like you receive payment before so after the session's over you all you have to do is just like be joyful and like oh i'm great don't have to worry about anything go on about your day and i would always recommend grounding hydrate all day especially hydrate for the next three days it's really high, highly recommended i even made my own like little um like information sheets like prepping before session and after session and a little bit history of reiki so that's why i really thought that was fun and let's see and i do offer uh, distance reiki uh, for now if you're local i'll, I'll consider doing that in person if i know you like so i don't want to go to somebody's house if i don't know them that well but hopefully in the future I have my own place and offer my own like actual space to do pers uh, Reiki in my house or make like a shed like one person made a Reiki shed so you can do that you can even rent out places like um like crystal shops will have like a, a booth where you can set up your Reiki and rent it out or clinic that way too but anything helps and also you can use during the Reiki session uh, divine tools. You can use singing bowls that are related to each chakra or tuning forks. Those are great too. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, using this to help identify troubled areas. And I also do offer uh, channel memberships. So far I have two tiers. The basic one is basically like uh, priority comments and you'd be able to see pre-released uh, videos so you can basically see them earlier so i was thinking about just let's say if you enrolled for march or april and then i'll show you guys all the videos that i have for april before i started with my other channel like three days before i give you a week before that Tuesday video come out so you guys will always see the videos so I won't do like special only videos well, maybe I don't know but we'll see but right now so it's 
it's free for everybody but if you want to have a jump start on there's two videos left i believe before i do more reiki session of this style but if you want to jump start i'll show you guys april 1st all those videos actually a little bit earlier because the first one yeah so i'll definitely i'll give you a bonus jump start on that but the second tier is a little bit more pricey but that's for people if you're interested in receiving a distance healing session twice a month i think it comes out a little bit bit cheaper or as close to an actual two sessions plus a little bit more benefits if you really like the pre-release videos you can watch them earlier and of course you can always chat with me for free and maybe i can uh, throw in like a separate like chat or something that might be an idea for the future and you guys can just ask me questions all the time but i always respond uh, the best i can in the comments so, i'm always here available for you guys for free so, so just added bonuses if you wanted that so well thank you guys again so much have a wonderful and blessed day and i'll see you guys really soon much love and blessings to you.